Howdy and welcome to episode 9 of the 240SX 2JZ swap. In this episode, we're going to start by installing the new radium fuel rail and ID 1050X injectors, as well as replacing the water pump, the timing belt, the timing belt tensioner, and the timing belt idler pulley. So let's get started. All right, so what we need to do to start is install the lower intake manifold um, to the block, and that is where the fuel rail will connect to. So we need to start by doing that. So I'm going to remove all the tape, bolt it up, and we should be good to go. Alrighty, so this is our radium fuel rail. And what we need to do to the fuel rail before we install it onto the manifold is there are different ports here where there are fuel inlets and outlets and whatnot. We are running what's called a deadhead fuel system setup, which basically means there's no return off of this line. Usually you have a feed and then it travels through and then the end is open and it goes back to the, um, the fuel pressure regulator. We're gonna plug the end and we're gonna plug these two middle ports as well with um, some plugs that I bought for this fuel rail. And then we're only gonna have one inlet and that is what is called a deadhead setup. So I went ahead and installed the plugs on the three parts of the fuel rail where they're gonna be needed, one on the end here and two uh, in the middle. And I've also went ahead and installed one of the injectors. I just made sure that it fit. So these are ID 1050X injectors. So they're 1050 CC. Should be more than enough to push uh, the 600 or so horsepower that we're shooting for. Uh, so I'm going to put the rest in now. All right, so now what needs to happen is we need to install these provided injector seats into the lower intake manifold. They have O-rings on the bottom and they should just snap in. So I'm gonna do one and see if it fits here. Place it in and there you go, it just snaps in. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Another thing to make sure of is that you retain and you reinstall the stock fuel rail spacers. So they just go in right to these little slots where the bolts go when we are gonna go install the fuel rail. The one thing you have to make sure of for this particular fuel rail is that the injectors either have to be 34 millimeters long or 48 millimeters long. Those are the only two lengths of injectors that work with this fuel rail. All right, this is attempt one. Line it up here. I don't wanna push too hard. All right, so that didn't work. Uh, maybe I need, I'm gonna oil up the, the O-rings and see if that makes a difference. This is attempt two. Well, I bet it fits, I'm just doing it wrong. Because I just YouTubed everything. I've never done this before. I was pretty much an idiot and realized that this side wasn't going in because the injector connectors right here were hitting this hook, uh, which I've been using to lift up the engine. I'm probably gonna take that off at some point, but regardless, these connectors were hitting the bolts that um, connect this to the block. So I just rotated them out of the way, gave it all a good push, and it went in. So in um, all in all, the, the injectors and the fuel rail fit great. I was just being a total idiot. So now we're gonna start to replace the water pump and the timing belt. To do that, before you do anything, you're gonna wanna match your camshafts up. There's little lines on them and those are the timing lines. And you're gonna match those up with these little nubs on this shroud up here. So you see this one points up to that nub and that one points up to that one. And then you're gonna take a look at your harmonic dampener pulley and you see your timing mark here and we're at zero degrees. So you need to make sure that when everything goes back together, that all matches up. I have it set up right now so that when we take off the uh, harmonic dampener, everything should be in line. All right, so to take off the harmonic balancer, you're first gonna put this little like pointy looking thing on your crow's foot. And then there's these two supporting bolts that we're gonna thread through. And there are two holes over here that you're just gonna kinda hand thread them on. You don't have to go to thread them in too much, but you wanna get some, get a good amount of threads in there. And we're gonna do the same with the bottom bolt here. And at this point, we're good to go. I just hand tighten this on. So this is, um, this is all kinda has tension. Tighten this and back off the a harmonic balancer and you can see it's coming off and 
And there you go. So at this point, we're gonna remove this lower shroud for the timing belt. To do that, we're gonna have to take off this bracket to access one of the bolts on the side here. And then it's just some 10 millimeter bolts that go around. We'll remove them, and hopefully this whole thing pops off. We need to get to the water pump and we need to replace the timing belt. To do that, we first need to loosen this Allen um, head bolt, which is has to do with the tensioner and tensioner pulley. Also, you can see down here, so you can kind of see here on this little crank pulley, there's this little line that lines up with this dot. And it lines up because when we took off the harmonic dampener, we set it at zero and this is, uh, I guess, zero degrees timing. So everything, when we put it all back together, that has to be like that. Those line up uh, with the nub things at the top and we should be good to go. So here's the old water pump. The only thing we need to keep from this old one and transfer to the new one is this little neck thing right here that when you take it out, put it on the new water pump. So I'll do that and in the meantime, clean all this up and should be able to put everything back together. All right, and we're back with a brand new water pump with that neck uh, that we transferred over from the old one. And I've also opted to, um, it's under this blue tape, you can't see it, but it is a water neck rotator and it rotates the water neck out of the way of our new single turbo manifold. This is from Powerhouse Racing. I can link it in the description if someone wants it, uh, but it's just kind of nice to have the um, inlet for the water pump angled away from the exhaust manifold. So other than that, uh, the last thing you're going to want to modify on the water pump before you reinstall it is if you're going single turbo, you need to make sure this is crimped off and welded. Uh, it's a little nipple that goes, it kind of angles down um, to the side and that will be letting water out if you don't get that welded uh, shut. So that is that, and we can reinstall it along with all the other uh, timing belt stuff. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is take off this old O-ring, replace it with the one that came with the new water pump and clean up this whole area because that is what the water pump is mating to uh, to go to the block. So I've just hand tightened everything in. What you're going to do now is you're going to take a torque wrench and you're going to set it to 15 foot pounds and do all of the 14 millimeter bolts at 14 um, foot pounds. And then you're going to do the smaller 10 millimeter bolts that are on this side. Uh, those are going to be at 10 foot pounds. So I'm going to do that now. All right, at this point, we're going to install the new timing belt, making sure not to move these out of the position that they were in initially. Um, so that the timing doesn't get messed up. All right, so getting the timing belt and everything on here was a total challenge, at least for me, because I'm an idiot. Um, the method that I used, I went and I put the idler pulley in, I took the tensioner out, I put the belt on, and then installed the tensioner after the belt and the idler pulley were installed. So at this point, um, everything is lined up, or else it should be pretty lined up. And I'm going to pull the pin on the tensioner, and we're going to see what happens. So, uh, all right, everything seems nice and tight, uh, as it should be. And at this point, we're just going to start uh, reinstalling stuff, and we should be done here pretty soon. So I've reassembled the whole kind of front shroud, and now we are going to install our new drift motion uh, pulleys. So we got the harmonic dampener pulley, the power steering, water pump, and alternator, and I'm gonna put those on now. So there was a lot of off-camera stuff that I did, some boring stuff, just torquing down all the bolts and whatnot for the pulleys and putting on the serpentine belt, stuff that I've already done before that I've done in previous videos for you guys. Um, 
but it's on the whole front of the engine is all buttoned up and ready to go so other than that we really just have to get the transmission made into the engine which we'll do in the next episode and we got to put on the sway bar in the car and some other stuff but other than that we are almost ready to go here so thanks for tuning in and i will catch you in the next one